I'm like these like steampunk steampunk glasses. <laughs> I should I should wear these things around town. Hey dude! built all this in just yesterday. It's kind of lame. I got two by four steps for now. So now, um, so this side's 10 foot and this side's eight foot. So I actually haven't had to cut any, any boards. So I just stack them up and then 10 foot, 10 foot, eight foot. There's the view from, so I'll put a window in right there, and then this will be nice, I'll cover it up. And I'll put caulking, uh, chinking in between these, kind of like the log cabin. And put down a floor, and then foam, and then the final floor. Hey everybody, man alive. <laughs> I am racing against the weather here. So I just stained these boards. Look at this place, it's a mess. Look like a junkyard. I'm gonna get it cleaned up, but I've been racing against the weather. And so yesterday evening I uh, did some um, uh, some bleach and water on this side washed it off with my new little hose uh, off-grid hose system that I made and actually it turns out to be pretty efficient I only used like five gallons to wash off the side of this thing maybe seven and so I, I then I went back and got all the caulking off and then I stained this whole side and I mean, I don't know if you can tell on video, it's beautiful. I mean, it's amazing. It's like the most perfect outcome I could, I could ask for. When it goes on, it's a little bit kind of milky white. It looks strange. It looks like it's gonna kind of make the side white, but as it sits on there, it ends up, I think, pulling out what's called the tannins. 
and it get, brings it a richer color. And it just looks perfect. I'm so happy with it. So now that this side is done, this was the frog. This was the big kahuna. And now I just got to do the other three sides. So I'll be doing that. You can tell there's like a distinct color difference. So this side is definitely, you know, uh, brighter. This side over here is a little bit more orange because it's sun stained. And so that's why I've been going on, going by with the bleach. Hey, check this out. So this is a new, a new guy. And you can see all the gold. And then this guy is getting there. He's gonna turn into something in about a week, maybe. And then this guy, look at this. You can see the wings for me. This guy is about ready to go. I don't know when. Within the next couple days, maybe. Isn't that amazing? I just got a, uh, a, um, an oxygen acetylene tank. I need to build a gate, like a swinging gate. And I looked online and they were, they were, I think they were $1,400 just for the metal gate. So I got this. Um, I don't want to get a Lincoln generator welder because because um, they're super expensive. They're like three or four thousand dollars. So I got this from Harbor Freight, and I'm looking up how in the heck to do this. So you'll kind of be with me. This will be my first time doing this. They say oxygen be. Acetylene before oxygen. And so I'll do that. So I believe this is the welding tip, this one. Um, so what I've got is filler rods. Um, I've got a lot of experience welding. I've done MIG, TIG, I've done AC TIG, so welding aluminum with a TIG welder. And then I started out on a stick welder. And so the only thing I haven't used is like a spool gun. Um, and this. So I'm familiar with TIG with the, the welding rods. So I got those and I actually don't have anything to weld yet, but I'm just kind of going to get the hang of, get the hang of this. And look at these like, Steampunk, steampunk glasses. <laughs> I, should, I should wear these things around town. Hey, dude! Going to the, going to the grocery store like this. I. All right. It's terrifying.
looks like what you got to do is the acetylene first, then oxygen, and then turn oxygen off first, and then acetylene second. So I just have to remember that. I'll have to make sure to like write that on the side or something. So this thing's pretty cool. Looks like it's got comes with a torch tip so this would be for cutting metal and 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 then this would be for welding and then it's got it comes with these crazy glasses and this little starter so I will probably read up on these instructions or watch a bunch of YouTube videos it's looking good. This place is becoming a mess quick. It's just I have to get so much junk in order to uh, be kind of self-sustained up here. But I don't have anywhere to put it. And I'm also trying to beat the weather. And so my yard is a mess. But... In time. It is the most beautiful sunset, and I don't think you could tell, but I kind of want to open up my view for this sunset, so I'm going to go cut down a few trees which is pretty stinking cool. And you can be with me and see the view. bigger a little bigger view just in time to see everything turn red and orange and yellow and I could just keep going that way kind of take out all of this and open up the view a little more So I cut this angle so that the flames spin around like this. It makes it super hot. And I cut this hole. And you can see the cyclone. You can see that the flames aren't actually touching the inner wall. So the air is keeping this metal a little cooler. And then you don't see any exhaust. But when I turn this off, you can see now. There's a bunch of black smoke coming out. And so you can get it super hot. It makes it so that there's almost no fumes that come out. It's just heat. 